Yes, people. Uh, wow. Um, what an underwhelming performance. And we've absolutely got out of jail today. How we've won that game, I don't know, to be honest. Another game where I counted two shots on target today at Barcelona. Yeah, it was zero. Um, today it was two. Um, Fabianski did not have to work at all. Um, do you know what? The team, I can understand why Oli made the changes that he made. Um, I tweeted out that I was happy with the team before the game. So I'm not going to put it down to that. I'll just put it down to the application and the attitude. Yeah, that light's just come on, Josh. I was thinking it's like halo shining down on me from heaven. Right? Um, yeah, it was just the application. It was just really poor. I, I got to start with Martial, man. I, you know what? The player ratings are going to come up and he could be pushing a two or a three out of ten today. He was really bad and I'm actually really worried for him. I'm not being funny. You're coming up against Zabaleta who doesn't even know if he's playing football next year. I've seen Zabaleta do interviews this year where they've asked him, are you going to carry on playing football? And he said, I don't know. Martial should be putting guys like that into retirement for me. Um, Zabaleta, he's what, 36 plus? You know, he should be putting him to retirement. Since he signed that contract, he hasn't been at the races, which is a big worry for me. Lukaku, um, his best attribute today was his crossing. And that wasn't even that great. You know, I, in central areas, I, he doesn't look after the ball as well as he should, but we know that. Um, and it was another poor game for him today. I thought Pogba, again, look, we look to him for inspiration. We look for him to create things, and we should do. He's our best player. But there were times today where he tried too hard. There was one time he had a, he had a battle with Mark Noble, fell on the floor, got up, got the ball back again, fantastic. Then he tries to beat a couple more players, and he just a little bit, just too much, just too much. So for me, he had the nerve to take two penalties, though, on, on the plus side, which was fantastic. But out of the course of the game, especially second half, you'd think that, you know, we're going um, at 1-0 and you're thinking, right, OK, we need to get them in and go again. We need to, we need to up the tempo. West Ham are far too comfortable. They, you know, you, there's talks of Declan Rice coming to Manchester United and there's talks of us potentially going for him. A lot of people say he ran the midfield today and he had a very good game. I, I wouldn't say he ran the midfield, but he was, he was very good. Mark Noble, he's another player who's at the end of his career having far too good a game for me. Um, West Ham don't travel well. They haven't got an away win um, all year. And I know the argument you could say is, yeah, they still don't, but they've come here and almost played us off the park at times. Felipe Anderson was obviously troubled the whole game. And it was just really disappointing. We've got some tough games coming up. And I've said it before, if we don't start playing well, when we come up against the better sides, we're not going to be able to scrape it. That's Watford and West Ham now, the, the two inferior sides to us on paper that we've scraped by. You know, Watford probably should have got something out of the game when we played, and today West Ham should have won it. I want to talk about De Gea as well, because he did save us today. He did. He saved us. And what I will say is, that's fantastic, but his distribution's got to improve. Um, I think his kicking's really bad, to be honest, and it has been for some time. The reason why we don't get onto his back is because he's super. You know, he's the best keeper in the world in other departments. And first and foremost, he's a great shot stopper, as we saw from uh, Mikel Antonio's header um, today, that he kept us in the game. And if it wasn't for him, we would have conceded there. And that was a whole different game. So I don't want to get on his back too much, but I have to, I have to bring it up because I see it week in, week out. And I think it's not discussed enough um, that his distribution is poor. Across the back four today, do you know what? I thought Jones was actually all right today. I thought he, he, he did well. Um, same with Smalling. I don't think he was too bad. Um, but I was disappointed in Rojo because, look, he got skinned a couple of times, wasteful on the ball. I thought he was useless, to be honest. Um, he has been out the side for a very long time. I understand that. But Oli's been talking in the press conferences saying that he wants players at this club who can cope with the pressure. He wants players who can step up when they're being called upon. And he was called upon today and he didn't show up. For me, I would have went with Damian because the track record with Damian is, yes, you could argue he's not good enough for the club and he's dead wood and he needs to go. But whenever you do call on him, he's there and he puts his defence first. I would, have, I would have preferred him over Rojo today. So look, the only positive we can take out of today is obviously the fact that we've won. And I tweeted out before the game that today, performance goes out the window. Even in the running, you'll take probably five more of them if it gets us top four. But I don't think we can rely on that. If, we come, if City come here and we play like that, we get beat comfortably. We get beat comfortably. Even Chelsea with their mishaps, you know, if we play how we're playing now, they could probably get something out of the game against us as well. We've put ourselves in a decent position because we've won and that is all that matters. But if we don't raise this performance level, we're going to be in some serious trouble. My biggest worry is the fact that the players just aren't at the races and we're not getting anything consistent out of the front three. Jesse Lingard today, where's he been since his injury? Where has Jesse Lingard been? It was another game where I just looked at and I just thought, 
Jesse's just running around. He's just running. He's not contributing to the game. He's not making good runs. His touch was poor today. There's only so far that effort can get you, you know? And for me, he needs to step up his game massively. And it's not just him. The whole front line needs to step up uh, and, and fast. Big up to Pogba on the two penalties. He took guts to take those. I like the fact that he, he, he squashed that slow run up because that just does my heart in. And I think everyone was happy to see that. Um, and yeah, Declan Rice, man, back to him. I, I, would I like him? I, there's still more to see uh, from him. You know, I, I don't think it's, he's just a worldie. What we do do is gas players up after a few good performances and then all of a sudden they're the next best thing. Um, but I can see why some people would like him. He did have a good game. Very disappointing performance, positive result, and it is all that matters. My man of the match today, <sighs> there's a lot of fives out there today, man, even some fours. Um, my man of the match is a toss-up between De Gea and Pogba. I'll probably give it to Pogba because he's stuck away two penalties. And although he wasn't playing his best game, he still needed the confidence to stick those two away. If he didn't stick those two away, we would have been in big, big trouble. So that's it for me. We go on to Barcelona. <laughs> he's made his feelings clear on Pogba. We go on to Barcelona. Is the miracle still on? Can it happen? Can we come back? A lot of arguments in the fan camps today about that and, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and what needs to happen at the club in general. Are we going to go and do it at Barcelona? I don't know. I think it's a step, step too far. And if we play anywhere near like that, we've got absolutely no chance. But it's all about that top four race and it's Everton away next. Yes, they've lost against Fulham today, but it's always a tough game when you go to Goodison Park and they are good at home under Marco Silva. On to Arsenal now. We Hopefully they slip up on Monday. And then on Sunday, we hope obviously that Chelsea slip up. We're relying on all these teams to slip up, man. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Big respect to all you guys for watching that video. Make sure you check out more United Stand content here and here. Yeah, like, subscribe and share. And the socials are along the bottom. You know what to do. Go get following. Go, 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 go.